Hello world. We are anonymous. 2016 is upon us, and with it brings some troubling and concerning issues from the year before. One of which is the refugee crisis, which has seen millions of refugees from all over the Middle East, mainly from Iraq, Syria, Libya and parts of sub-Saharan Africa, fleeing for their lives. Refugees from these countries, as well as others, pour into southern Europe, crossing the Mediterranean Sea, and will tend to settle in countries that will first, accept them, and secondly, have in place a strong welfare system to support them. Most European countries do not want to accept large numbers of refugees, and have ejected, tens of thousands of people by force, creating illegal immigration in neighboring countries where no source of income will be waiting for them. Some turning to crime to keep their families alive. Countless news organizations from around the world have broadcasted images of sick and dying refugees fleeing their impoverished and war-torn countries. The media has also shown countries accepting large numbers of refugees in efforts to aid in the crisis. They even go as far as to explain how these refugees are fleeing to where conditions are better. Talk about stating the obvious. Conditions are better only because the conditions from which they are fleeing are no longer tolerable. Refugees are fleeing their home countries and leaving behind everything they know, not for the fear of dying from a stray bullet or misguided bomb, but, because the village, town, or city from which they came cannot support them any longer. This is due to an already poor economy along with a completely destroyed infrastructure due to war. When you give a refugee a choice to either die where they are, or run to wherever they're running to, in the hopes they may survive, chances are, they are going to run and go to where they remember seeing the good life on television. The war on terrorism, led by the United States, its NATO allies along with the mainstream media have been the leading contributor in destabilizing the Middle East, one country at a time. These war-torn countries are then divided up for their resources shared among those who were willing participants in creating the crisis in the first place. This is known to some as the spoils of war. This works out for countries like Germany, who will accept as many refugees as possible to undermine its country's union trade workers. Germany has been busy dismantling its unions for years. Union workers now work longer hours and receive fewer benefits, if they get any benefits at all. This is done by flooding the labor markets with cheap labor for large companies operating in the country. This in turn forces unions to go on strike and demand higher wages. These same workers are slowly replaced with refugees who are willing to work for a fraction of what it costs to pay the average union worker. The effects of this are widespread among countries willing to accept large numbers of refugees who are willing to work any job, for longer hours and less pay, just to survive willing to work for wages that local citizens will just not accept. This will greatly affect the balance between capital and labor, leading to many people finding themselves losing good jobs and eventually ending up standing in long lines at the welfare and unemployment offices. This in turn shrinks the middle class and sets a society to be dependent on its government to survive. The media spreads lies and propaganda from elected officials whose only concern is to push a narrative that suits their interests and protects their financial and geopolitical agenda. The media fails to talk about the root causes by which many, if not all of our problems are attributed to today. Instead, the media with its infotainment, deludes the perception of reality, and causes those who have the least in society to imagine they can have whatever they see on television. This gives people a false sense of hope in obtaining a better life. Kind of like the average person buying a lottery ticket in the hopes of winning the jackpot. In the past 10 years alone, the refugee crisis has been attributed to, and has been made much worse by the direct military intervention of the United States and Europe. Countries not willing to take in these refugees, due to their direct involvement in creating the crisis in the first place, are in direct violation of their own policies. The United States and its allies are killing thousands of innocent people. Refugees are being buried in unmarked graves by the sides of highways, as European countries have nowhere to put the unidentified bodies. The problem lies with those who refuse to deal with the cost or the social consequences of this continuing refugee crisis, they pretend it's not going to directly affect them. The blowback from this crisis is just starting to be felt by Western countries who pretend these false flag terror events have nothing to do with their direct military involvement in their quest for world domination. It's the same people who make it their mission to defend policies that attribute to the needless death, 
displacement and disparity of millions of innocent people. People who did nothing to cause the conditions which they try to escape from. But, this is nothing new. All wars create refugees to one extent or another. But what is new, is the frequency in which refugees are being created in the first place. The refugee crisis is just one of many issues facing our lives today. We of Anonymous will continue to do our part to uncover the truth and fight for the rights of the average citizen. We will fight for those who are unjustly murdered and silenced. And for those who can't fight for themselves. We will never stop in our efforts to expose the corrupt plans of the New World Order and its supporters. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive.